Hi everybody, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I've got a couple of uh, interesting cases to show you. As you can see I have the iPad standing up here and as you turn it around you can tell that this is one of these cases that is also a stand. Now the, one of the things I like about it is the way that it works. I'll show you that in a minute. This is the Zero Chroma case. I've got their website here. and Let me go ahead and let you see the animation and you can see the way it works here. It folds out. This is the white and uh, gray two-tone case that they have. They've also got pink and darker pink, I guess, <laughs> is what it's called. And then this one is the black and gray. But as you can see, it holds it at many different angles. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. In the back here, you have the stand. Now, it makes a lot of noise, but it does fold flat. And this thing right here rotates around, so you can hold it at a lot of different angles. If you want it to stand up, you see there you, you have the way whoops, it stands up. Uh, or if you want it to be more uh, at a lower angle, see the way it works. Now because it rotates, you can hold it at this angle, put it almost uh, straight up. But anyway, it uh, it works real well. Now, it, because of this, it, you can change the angle of it real easily. And then, if you want to just lay it flat, there you go. Now, they also have an iPhone version. has the same functionality. So, you know, if you're uh, watching some video, there we go. There's an Eli Patelovin gadget. He's on uh, the Twits uh, This Week in Google episode, a recent one and I've been watching it. You can put it up. If you want to do FaceTime chat, that's a real good way to do that. Um, but these are very similar cases. They're both from Zero Chroma. Now, they are a little challenging to remove. Um, let's see if I can do it on the iPhone here. You've got to really kind of force it out. and. Uh, so if you're one who who takes your iPhone out quite a bit, <laughs> I'm having see I'm having a lot of difficulty. If you take your iPhone out of your case quite a bit, um, you know this this might be a problem for you. Uh, I don't. I leave mine in my case almost all the time. So the very few times when I actually take it out, it's not a problem. But you can see that once you do, it goes in real easily. So that's not a problem. And you know it's got all the openings so that uh, you can access everything that you need. Um, so it's a nice little case. Of course, here's the iPad version. I can show you the same thing here. It's got all the openings so you can easily access everything. I won't bother to take it in and out. The, the iPad case is a little easier to remove. Um, than the iPhone one, but uh, I think it's just because it's a little bit bigger. But anyway, you can see real close here that it kind of has that separated that grabs it. It's not going to come off at all. Um, if you wanted to, you can you know hold it and uh, use it like that. Um, it's got a little place here where you I don't know if you saw in that video or not. You could put a string through there and hold it as a strap. You know I've got one of these on my camera here. You know uh, you could do one of these and hold it like a strap if you really wanted to. Um, and notice they've got cases for all the different uh, iOS devices. See it says 14 angle rotating theater stand, landscape and portrait modes, anti-slip rubber edge and stand tip, slim fold flat features, finger dimples, that's uh, this thing on the back you know as you're holding it which is kind of a nice touch. Um, Anti-glare camera flash guard, which, uh, you know, I've found that of, of limited use or value, but, uh, and then the wrist strap included with online orders. And I didn't get the wrist strap, I don't think, in my review unit. I got this uh, free from the company just to review. But the iPhone version is the Teatro, and they have others. Right now they've got them for the iPad, the iPhone 4, iPod Touch, uh, third gen, iPod Nano, fifth gen, the Kindle 2, the iPhone 3 and 3GS. And pretty soon, if you've got an iPhone 4, 
or an iPod Touch 4th Gen, if a Galaxy Tab or a Kindle 3, uh, you'll be able to get one uh, pretty soon. But that's from Zero Chroma. It's a nice case. Uh, my only complaint, again, it's hard to get on or to, to get off if you need to remove your, your iPad quite a bit. Um, the other thing is, again, my personal preference. This isn't a negative on this particular product. I just personally prefer folio style cases, something to flip over the top and cover it. I wish some of these stand cases like this had a feature like that. But it's got a nice hard shell um, and uh, it's very durable. Uh, I, and I don't know about shock absorption or not. I haven't dropped my iPad and to be quite honest with you I'm not going to test it. Uh, but other than that I, I think it's a really nice case. I like the, the angle of the stand that it does. You can have it at all different stands and then it folds flat in there. One thing about the iPhone case is I find this part does kind of come out a lot. Um, but that's really minor. That's that's such a it's you know such a little thing. It's not something you really have to worry about. Uh, and then again, you know the, the iPad case, the stand on it as you're doing this is is a little rigid, kind of hard to get out. But uh, I sound like I'm being negative, but but I actually really like the case. Other than the fact, you know these minor little complaints, they're very very minor. So uh, check it out. Zero Chroma case. Uh, the Teatro is about forty five dollars. And the Vario or Vario from iPad for iPad, uh, I can't remember the price. We'll get it up here at seventy dollars. Um, you can check them out at zerochroma.com. This has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com. Thank you for watching.